Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Another summer afternoon, another backup on I-70, this time in the eastbound lanes near Copper for an accident. It happened just after 3 o'clock. Things have mostly cleared up by now. Town of Frisco is considering Summit County's latest ban on single-use plastic water bottles. The big overarching goal behind this is we really want to move away from, from so much plastic out in the world. It's in our water, in our air, in our food. That was Frisco Environmental Programs Manager Hillary Sueoka. If Frisco approves the ban, it would be the second single-use bottle ban after Breckenridge. Are some of them getting recycled? Yes, absolutely. But a lot of times they're not. They're either ending up in our landfill or as litter. One group has been vocally opposed in Frisco, the Colorado Beverage Association. They're pretty committed to plastic packaging as of now and um, locally not planning to move towards reuse or more recyclable options. Frisco Council votes on first reading of the ban this coming Tuesday. Wildfires have burned tens of millions of acres of Forest Service land in the past 15 years. But are humans or nature to blame? A congressional report claims 9 in 10 wildfires nationwide are sparked by people. But in Colorado, fewer than 5 in 10 are people. Most are lightning. That ratio is holding true so far this fire season. Lightning most likely sparked a new fire near Meeker this past Sunday. The Howard fire has burned at least 255 acres. Lightning is also to blame for three of five other major fires, the Devil's Thumb Fire north of Fraser, the Chris Mountain Fire near Pagosa Springs, and the Coal Mine Fire near the New Mexico state line. The jury is still out on what sparked the Titan Fire west of Trinidad and the state's largest fire, the Spring Creek Fire near Parachute, still burning today but slowly on just over 3,200 acres. Also under investigation still is the Lily Pad Fire from Sunday, July 9th. It burned a few trees near Frisco. There was no lightning that day. Local fire danger remains moderate today in Summit, with no fire restrictions. In local entertainment news, back on the big screen at the Eclipse in Breck is the latest Mission Impossible movie, Dead Reckoning Part 1. There will be a Part 2, and it already has a release date, late June of next year. You gotta love these year-long cliffhangers. You'd think the Netflix generation would revolt, but here we are. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is showing nightly, 3.30 and 7.30, at the Eclipse Theater in downtown Breck. And in local sports... Today on the warm-up for my furnish in Frisco and Kremlin. The kids were just like going bonkers six, seven hours into the trip. We're like, oh, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? That was local trail runner and mother of four, Alicia Vargo, calling in from Utah. But it's always worth it. Um, after the fact, it's always worth it. Vargo's in Utah for the Speed Goat Mountain Race 28K. And she brought the whole family, her first major event since kids. My husband and I, that's just a big priority of ours to get out in the mountains, to, to train, to enjoy, to explore, adventure, compete, you know, just kind of model that to our children, that that's a value that we have. She's been training for the Speed Goat with the Race Breck Trail Series, where she's won three of four of on-course titles. One of my intentions with the town series was just signing up and putting a bib on no matter what. Running is deep in her blood. She's a D1 athlete who left the track for the trail in Flagstaff and then two years ago left Flagstaff for Breck. It's kind of this mind-blowing realm of sport that I didn't know that you could kind of marry those two things together. Vargo admits this Utah race with 6,300 vertical feet might be more than she can handle so soon after her youngest child, but she could not say no. Those big mountains just kind of keep us curious, keep us, keep us alive. This has been the warm-up with local trail runners. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.